Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad. Uh, it's, we're here in Railroader. <laughs> Just get everybody excited. Uh, I'm going to highlight a couple things real fast is, is that, one, our trains are all fueled up and ready to go. Probably, yeah, they're, they're, they're ready to go. Um, also, one of the things that I was looking for was, you know, like we have our time up here is 12.59 p.m., and it's set to one to one right now. So I would spend a little bit of time looking for this to figure out where that setting was. And it's in the, if you hit I on your keyboard, which I think is brings up your more freedom railroad or whatever your railroad name is under the settings is the time. So you can choose to wait an hour. So you just click that and the time runs one hour real fast. Um, you can sleep from here and this is where you do your time multi multiplier. So what I wanted to do was, is I wanted to have something to do. So um, I set my time multiplier and what we're going to do is I chose to have some stuff delivered. So this one is going to Stenzel Manufacturing, the bridge site for everything else is going to the bridge site. So let's figure out where this bridge site is and I'll bring up my map and I wonder if it is just back here. So I'm going to, and I might be able to just do it from the I key and hit that button again. And I might be just going the wrong, oh, the Ella bridge site. Okay, so let's go back over here. So the Ella bridge site, which would be, I think, right here. Um, I don't remember how to get there, but let's, let's look at this. Let's, um, go this way over here. There's Ella. And then there is the Ella Bridge site. So we need to bring all that stuff over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to run around to the other side of this train because this one goes to Stenzel Manufacturing, which is, I think, like right in here. Uh, locations, Stenzel Manufacturing which is right there. And so we're going to bring that one there. And then we'll take the rest of the stuff to the bridge. All right. So let's go ahead and fire this. We're going to actually move more freedom railroad number one. And we're going to push it back. Let's uncouple. And I think that closed it. Yes, it did. Okay. Let's get this baby fired up. Let's get it reversed out of here. And back onto this track. And uh, then we'll take number two and pick up those cars. We got to run around. We got to run around to the other side. Neutral. Everything is off. Okay, right there. Select that guy. And we will, that one, we want to go back straight. So we want to go back and we actually need to be on the other track. So that'll put us on the other track so we can start reversing. And come all the way down to here. That one looks good. We're good there. Got to be careful with my mouse because it just goes right off the screen. Oh, 
let's make sure this one's right. Yeah, definitely not correct. Keep her coming. Bring her back. And we're going to push because we got to push those. And honestly, like now. Got to get up into the end of this guy. Any of these handbrakes applied? We'll find out in just a minute because it'll highlight it for us. So that'll be lovely. Keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her coming. Break here. A lot of bit of break here. And I believe it is that. Okay, so we do have two cars with the handbrakes on, which I think are all the way down here at the end. Where are you at? Okay, we're good. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take this to Stenzel Manufacturing. And we have two cars there now, so I wonder if I need to take those out. Because Stenzel is... Actually, you know what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to do a little bit of chicanery. Give me this guy. Chicanery? Ch 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 chicanery. I don't even know if this was a thing back when... when these engines were in use or not. So... bring this guy all the way back because we're going to use it to put the stencil manufacturing car where it's supposed to be because that might require us to move those other two cars I'm not sure yet Well, we now have a full dadgum. Just hit the hit the brakes there.
Oh, she's chuffing. Oh, sounds so good. What this calls for? Let's check our switches. So we should be good. Put our throttle at 40. Let's get our switches, make sure that one's good. And our thing's going to be here at the. We don't want to go down that track, so let's throw that switch. And we'll make sure that one is good. And then we're going to be coming over here. So that one. And then this one. And then that should be fine. We should be good there. Look at us. There we go. Off we go. I give this bad boy a little bit more throttle. If we had a secondary engineer in the back, I don't know if you can push with both of them or not. I guess I don't want to... Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? You can push with both of them. We're going to stop doing that. I think we're good with just one. <laughs> We're all the way back here in the back. That's fine. So yeah, if I had multiplayer going, I bet I could have somebody on the other engine, you know, we could be in communication over the horn. Okay, as soon as we get him to past that one right there, we should be good. Let's throw in a little bit, let's give a little bit of break there, slow us down a little bit. And we're going to cut these off. And we're going to switch to that one. And we're going to put this in reverse. Get that one stopped. And this one we're gonna go need to go forward. Get past this switch. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, we have a couple cars here, so I don't know if I need to take them out of there or if I can just push this one back. So we're going to see. Because I'm not sure if I need to take them back to the interchange or not. Um, locations, we are here. We might be able to get away with it a little bit. We went reverse anyway, not forward. We're going to see if it gives us cashola's just by putting it at the very minimum here. I, yep. It gave us the cash, the cash monies. Okay, so we're going to leave this guy here, and we're currently, we're going to uncouple things right now, and we're going to take number two, we're going to shove all this stuff over to Ella. So let's make sure that this switch is thrown. And that one is good. This one needs to be thrown. Come all the way down here. Whoa. That is me, not the, not the game, <laughs> doing all that. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get this bad boy fired up. Oh no! One is moving. Uh, give me, give me full break. We're actually going to leave it right there. Full break. We were very lucky that I noticed that. Oh, she is chuffing hard. Trying to decide if I'm going to put number one on the back here with number two or not. Might as well, I suppose. Get past this switch. Steady as she goes. Oh, that's way too steady. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, so now we can...
Um, this guy. We'll get this turned off. And forward. Basically the same. Let's give number one a little bit more cheese. Actually, we'll give number two a little bit more, a little bit more throttle right there. Now, none of these are turned on, right? Yeah, they're not turned on. You look at that. Go to the front of this train. Okay, we're at 18, so we have to be careful here. Um, So actually take number two and go like this, put it into neutral. And then have, now that we're started and we're going, we're not going to need its power as much, I don't think. We'll figure it out. Give us a little less here. Maybe a little bit of this. Oh, you know what we need to do? Rock of the Golden Doodles currently barking like crazy. He's in here. He's looking at me. He's fired up. We're going to have to use the engine, too, to give us a little bit of that stopping power.
see those brakes come off. I was just worried about it getting a little too fast there. This is amazing. I don't know. Listen, if you're if you're a railroad fan, um, this is awesome. Let's go ahead and take that back down to zero. We're good. I mean, our speed limit, I think, is. 30 right here, so we're good. So we're not really speeding up at right now. I think we are we starting to go uphill or are we we're good. Might have been going uphill just a little bit. It just seems so fast, like 23 miles an hour seems in incredibly fast <laughs> for some reason. Let's uh, put this at about 20% throttle, I guess. Okay, let's check our things here before we get into this too deep. We need to go straight out of this one. Check, make sure we're checking our watching our speed. We're good there. And then right over to there. Okay. We should be good all the way in then. So we're about 25. Slowing down a little bit. Hey, let everybody know we're coming. We went zero. We're really just coasting at this point. Because we don't have any... And our forwarder is on, but... Thirty mile an hour. We're at twenty five, I think was our but that's okay. Check our map. We're doing wonderful. This is fantastic. We're just hanging off the end of the boxcar. Okay. We can start slowing down a little bit here. A lot of bit. Far, how close we got to get this thing? All the 
all the way. We got to get it all the way to the end here. Okay, this one is off. One is still chuffing. There's a up the hill climb here. Man, 965 tons, 17 cars. Wonder if that includes the cars themselves or just the cargo. Keep her going, keep her going. Last little push here. Get her all the way to the end, maybe. Get her brakes. Okay, let's see. We should be good. Well, let's put on our handbrake on a couple of these cars then. And handbrake. And glad hands. Okay. Uh, that's engine one. Let's check. Let's get engine two here. Turn off the brakes on that guy. Hit that to neutral. Get the, that one. Turn off the brakes there. Hit that guy to reverse. Okay, so those should all be in there now, right? Those are all in there. And, oh yeah, you can see it. Look, it's, it's taking things out of it. Or it was, I think. I think spotted means it's in the right spot. Yeah, because now it's not, they're not highlighted. So, yes, there we go. All right, our first load to the Ella Bridge, and it should be doing what it should be doing. So, excuse me. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be reversing down the line, and we're going to be going to pick up our log, log cars. We're going to get to the log cars because it's going to be a long journey, I think, to them. But let's head back down the line and get to those log cars. At least in the general area of the log cars. So that was really interesting trying to use both trains at the same time to do a lot of stuff. So what I found was is that the brakes don't fully apply when you're just using like the back engine. In this case, it was um, MFR1. If you applied the train brakes fully, they didn't apply fully to the rest of the train until you applied the train brakes 
on MFR2. So I don't know if you caught that, but that's what I had to do there. And thankfully, this engine roster screen, which you hit, get by hitting the letter R, definitely helped us out a lot. So we are going way too fast. So yeah, using the you had to use the engine brakes on both of them. And when I got that tr when the train got stuck, I had to actually give throttle to both engines to push the train the rest of the way up that little hill, that little incline to the bridge. So where we're headed now is we are headed to way back over here to Whittier. Um, So that's what we're doing, and we're gonna we're gonna head over here to this interchange. So we'll be back in just a moment. We saw that little run by and we are finally over here to our log cars and I didn't, uh, I let off the gas, I, I, not the gas, I turned down the throttle and we were actually running both engines for a while because I think it was mostly uphill through right here. And so kind of doing both engines and what not so oh can start letting off the throttle for a little bit of that brake on there and what we're going to do is to finish this off we're going to just pick up these log cars in both spots because i believe they're all done so you're able to get three log cars per um truck three logs per car there we go So we're going to pick up these and we're going to switch to engine two to be our runner for the rest of this time because it's in the front and we're going to run back over and pick up the rest of the log cars. So that is all good. Let's hit the forwarder. Oh, one of these has the thing turned on release. There we go. That's probably better. All right, so let's get engine one, engine two fired up. Get it moving. Probably a little bit better going, I don't know if it's uphill or not, but we're gonna get her moving though. It seemed like this was uphill on the way here, but maybe it wasn't. So, watch our speed. I think it was uphill. So, we'll definitely watch our speed here. And remember, our engine brake, our train brake is going to be done with engine one. And then, engine two, we're probably going to need to do the engine brake on that. Give us a little bit of that, and then give us a little bit of that. There we go. Make sure all of our brakes are off. Okay, we're good. Um, that up to forward. Just in case it's causing us to slow a little bit. Turn this down. Hit some of that. Give me some of this. Give me some of this. This is a... 
I will say, having to use both of these engines is a lot of er doing everything right. So the best part would be to have, you know, this in multiplayer. I didn't even look at the inside of this one. Oh, would you look at that? A little bit different than the other one, I think. Yeah, a little bit different. So our other cars are right up here, so we're going to get past them. And so we're going to bring this down. And check on engine one. Let's throw that into neutral. And let's hit the brakes. Get some brakes in here. We want to be on this track, so flip that bad boy. Oh, she stopped right away. Must have hit like a little bit of an incline there. Our zeros on that one. We're good there, so. What we want to do is bring it past, well, let's make sure we, we're probably going to end up into this over here. So let's flip that guy. And we want engine one. It's going to be controlling everything until we get past this switch. And then we get hooked up to these cars. Put this guy in neutral. Back up to here. This guy into reverse. And we are going straight, correct? Correct. Yep, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. connected I think this is the one with the handbrake on okay so we've connected up to all of our log cars it is 463 tons um, but we're gonna wait for these until the next episode so we've done the first part of the Ella Br train the Ella bridge so that's awesome um, we're gonna pull these log cars back to Wherever they need to go, I guess. I, I assume they need to go to the sawmill. So we're going to take them back to the sawmill. And um, let's put on all of our brakes real fast so they aren't doing anything. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of the More Freedom Railroad. And in the next episode, we'll be taking these log cars over to the sawmill we'll probably then sleep and get all of our next day stuff to take to wherever they're also i have to figure out if i need to go pick up all those cars or not so if i have to pick up all those cars um i'll have to we'll sleep and then if we have to pick up the cars we'll go pick up cars and or if they just disappear so i'm not quite sure yet i'll do some reading after I'm done with this recording, which is just here in a minute. And uh, 
see what we got. So, and until the next time here on the More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>